Cuba Gooding Jr. won it. <laughs> it. It was so funny, you know, he was so outrageous and so excited. It was a great moment in history. It was a great moment in his life, and he didn't hide it. And he wasn't, uh, he wasn't shy about expressing to everyone. The Oscar winner, Cuba Gooding Jr., got caught in some allegations of improper conduct, touching women, when he was supposed to be drunk. We're gonna talk about what can we find from this situation as a life gain right now and go over the situation. But first, on this channel, we always put on our plus seven glasses of sexy as hell, cause we're working on skilling this craft, helping you find a life gain in any chaotic situation. And I want you guys to leave me comments what you think the life gain is on this one. Please subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the Life Gains Financial channel, and go check out shoplifegains.com. Let's analyze this story first by taking a look at the news clip. Gooding Jr.'s attorney says new surveillance video will exonerate the Hollywood star of a groping accusation. The Oscar winner pleaded not guilty to two charges stemming from a visit to a New York bar last weekend. Nikki Batiste is outside the New York Police Department's Special Victims Unit. Nikki, I'm a little confused. He voluntarily turned himself in, but then he's, he's seen walking out in handcuffs. Why? That's right, Tony. He was in police custody here for about six hours yesterday before being arraigned in court. He's charged with misdemeanor counts of forcible touching and sex abuse in the third degree. But Gooding's attorney says surveillance video shows Gooding did nothing illegal. Walking free without bail, actor Cuba Gooding Jr. said little after leaving Manhattan Criminal Court Thursday evening. Do you maintain that you didn't do anything wrong? Yes. What do you say about the video? Watch it. Gooding's attorney says this security footage posted by TMZ shows the moment in question at a New York City bar Sunday night. Gooding appears to be sitting next to two women and reaching over to touch one of them. CBS News has not been able to independently verify the video. Mr. Gooding has not acted inappropriately in any shape or form. Nothing in the video could even be considered ambiguous. And I frankly am shocked and horrified that this case is being prosecuted. The 29-year-old accuser claims Gooding was intoxicated and squeezed her breast without her consent. Despite the allegation, legal analyst Paul Batista doubts the case will go to trial. So I think it is being treated differently given the level of his notoriety. Jerry, you better yell! Show me the money! Praised for his roles in Jerry Maguire and Boys in the Hood, Ricky! the Oscar-winning actor faced a second groping allegation yesterday, dating back to 2008 that his attorney denied. Somebody uh, sort of came out of the woodwork and alleged that there was a touching, I spoke to QB, has no knowledge of it. No charges have been filed against Gooding in that case. The charges filed against him yesterday carry a maximum penalty of 15 months behind bars, and Anthony Gooding is due back in court on June 26th. Okay, we saw the news clip, and folks, I know a thirst trap when I see one. This looks like a thirst trap. First of all, it's saying that he grabbed her breast. It looked like his hand went to her thigh. And in the other hand, he had a drink. So it sounds like there's some half-truths here. He might have been drunk, yes, but did you see a hand go to a breast? I didn't see that. And maybe there's more to the video than what we saw. However, what is the life gain from this situation? If you are a male nowadays, any male, but in particular, I'm gonna drill down on celebrities, I'm gonna drill down on men of power, I'm gonna drill down on men who have influence. When you're in situations with females, you have got to be extra careful. And I don't see anything else he could have done differently. And when I say extra careful, I mean you gotta be careful about touching people you don't know. If you're gonna touch people you don't know, you need to be somewhere where there's cameras and a lot of video footage as it appears to be here with him. And you also have to be cognizant that there's thirst traps all over the place. I mean, thirsty as hell. They more thirsty than the, the lawyer from Empire. So let's be clear. If you don't get this done, 
You can still be killed, and Tariq framed for the whole thing. <laughs> Is he behind this? Uh, it's just one of my thoughts. And you also have to be cognizant of, on the drop of a dime, like that, someone who's given consent to do something can all of a sudden say no consent, and then you in another thirst trap that's not really a thirst trap. But these type of situations make it hard for women who are in real situations, if this is true, when the stories and all the facts come out is when we'll be able to make a better determination. But based on what I'm seeing here, this looks more like a thirst trap than it is a situation where someone was truly and really harassed. And it makes it hard on women who really are going through harassment issues. Leave me comments about what you think of this whole situation. Um, what are some of Cuba's best movies in your opinion? But more importantly, what is your life gain takeaway from this story with Cuba Gooden Jr.? You know, it, to me, I think that if this video is what it is, He's going to be fully exonerated. Someone was trying to get a quick payday, but it don't look like it's going to happen because of the video footage. And fellas, be careful out there, man. Be extra careful out there. You make sure you know whomever you're going to be touching, hugging, and rubbing so that these situations don't put you in a bad light. Because let's be honest, fellas, everybody ain't got Cuba Gooden Jr. money to get themselves out of these situations. So leave me your comments. What's your life game? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life game. Check me out on all my social media links. If you find stories you want me to do something on, hit me up at my Facebook page, or you can hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, wherever you like. And until the next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.